Hey guys, how's it going? So today I have this. Can you make it out? It is my first quick set. And look at the state of it. It is beaten and bruised and covered in crap. Uh, there's another one I actually don't have a key for, however. See, <laughs> it's uh, had a hard life by the looks of it. So let's see what we can do. Let's get that locked in there so it's not going anywhere. And I get the camera set up. Hopefully. Yeah, I'll be able to see in there, and I can walk away. Right, so let's give this a go. I'm putting. Ooh. <laughs> I'm putting loads of tension on because it is rather minging in here. Right, pin three. Feel it sliding up there. It must be full of age old crap. Pin four. Count rotation. We've got a click. So, that's pin one. It's way high set. Oh, sorry about that. I think I just overset that. Let's let's do start from the beginning. Let's give these. Make sure they're all down. I think it's a 5 pin, but we'll only find out if and when we get it apart. Pin 3, pin 2, pin 2 again. Ease off my tension again because I feel I'm doing something wrong here. Let's start at the back. It's definitely pin three. Oh, just slipped off it. Mm. I'm not feeling anything, I think I'm just going to undo that just a little bit I think I may be crushing it in there and I haven't got a key to check I mean I know the core's moving if I don't get the tension wrench stuck that is it just might be just putting out a little bit too much pressure on on the core pin 3 again click on them there They come to the fall down. There you go, it fell down, that was very high set. That pin three, pin two. I think it was set pin two, so I'm just going to try and bring them back down. 
I lost pin three, so that's pin three again. Maneuver my tension wrench a small amount. Pin two, pin one. There we are. I don't even feel like a touch pin five. Very strange. Well, that is a two minutes of. Pin, I assume it's a five pin. Kinda hard to tell. It does seem quite short, so my bet is only a four pin. However, we shall now find out. Let's get my stand set up so it doesn't fall off the table. <coughs> what have we got? Right. How do we get this open? I haven't got a key for it. So let's just go for the pliers and see if we can just force it out of here. Oh. Look at that. Right. Now, where are the pins? The pin over there. Be like that, hopefully. I think that'll work. I think that'll work. <laughs> well, that was very lucky. Let's hope none of them fell out there. Thank God for that. Right. It's because it's so. Oh, look at the side of that. I'm glad we turned it at a bit of an angle. Imagine them falling down there. Would have been properly screwed. I'm surprised I didn't put my, my pick far enough back. I'm, I didn't even notice that was there. Strange, anyway. Pin one, long standard, get out. Two, short standard, three, standard. Oh, jeez, get out of there. Let's pin five. I have to poke the. Oh, there we go, let's pin five and pin four. Let's see if we can just tee it out there. We go. So they're all standard. Uh, obviously nothing inside the core. So let's <coughs> I don't think there's anything funny in it. I just think, oh, what's going on here? Ah there you have it. Core inside the core. Pen one. <laughs> standard. Should have used a solid follower. And two. Wow. That was some spring tension in there. It fired out of there. It was standard as well. Sorry. Jeez, even that, if I tried catching it, it still flew out of there. Got to have my thumb, my hand over the end of it to stop him firing out. Where did I put that there? That one. So they're not magnetic. It's just uh, covered in so much grease. And there you can see all the springs. I'll just pull them out for you here. One, two. Oh, he was fighting me there. And five. Fantastic, and uh, once again, nothing on the inside of there apart from years of filth. So here we have it. Nothing extravagant. I think the the dirt and the grime didn't help any. Are those different? On camera focus. Just looks slightly different. Anyway, get back in there. Right, so that is 
the cooks in it. I picked. Sorry for the long video, guys. I had a bit of uh, some issues with the the filth in this lot. But thanks for watching, guys. I shall see you next time. Yeah.